Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about baffled by baffles. I hear this term a lot with phone calls and studio guys and all kinds of people, you know, especially the word baffle, you know, it's used a, used a lot. But let's, let's kind of back up, you know, when, when things get confusing, I always like to go back to the, the definition or the root, really, if you would. So, definition, baffle is a device to reduce airborne noise transmission. That's the definition in Wikipedia. And then another term we hear is gobo, okay? What is that? Well, it's vegetable root used in Japanese and Hawaiian cooking. So I don't think that's applying to our situation here. Here's another definition. It's a screen to shield the lens from light. So it's in the optic world. All right. Here's another definition, more closely related here. Shield to mass microphone noise. Okay. But that's not really how it's used in recording studio. So... Mainly when we see a baffle, the term baffle or gobo, it's barrier technology. It's used to isolate sound from reaching a microphone, separate instruments, drums, etc., uh, from microphones. So it's more in this area here of a barrier. And I think that's where a lot of people get confused. So I see studio gobos all the time, the term used both for absorption and isolation. So things get a little confusing. They get a little mixed up. You know, people confuse terms. And this is what drives us all crazy in acoustics because people are using terms that really aren't applicable to the situation or more importantly, the strategy that you're trying to accomplish. Remember, let's get back to the basics. We have absorption and then we have noise transmission. Now, these are confusing because absorption deals with airborne energy, also deals with pressure, okay? Noise transmission deals with both of those too, but it also deals with vibration. And this is, you know, the big difference between the two. Noise transmission is vibration reduction. Airborne energy is attenuation through uh, molecular velocity or speed or airflow over the surface of a material like open celled foam. So there's subtle differences here and they can really mean a big difference in performance. So if you're s searching for noise barriers and you're using the term absorption, you're going to get a bad result. Okay, so it's important to define our terms and look at it. We want to define what we're doing. Is it noise, which is vibrational acoustics, or is it absorption, which is airborne energy? So we have to make, you know, those kind of distinctions going on here. All goes back to planning. Got to get a strategy. What is our strategy? We want to stop the noise from coming in the room. We want to lower the reverberation times in the room so we have higher speech intelligibility rating. Everything has to be defined and then the tactics that we apply, a gobo, a baffle, a barrier, whatever the term we're going to use here, it's just a tactic towards the strategy that we're up against. So kind of got to step back, take a deep breath and, you know, look at what we're doing, develop a strategy, which nobody seems to want to do in these small rooms. You know, they have all these tactical ideas but none of them really contribute to the end result thereafter. So I try to get people to define what you want. That's why I always ask people about their listening history, because that gives me a sense of your reference level. I've been doing this for 40 plus years. So I have a real strong reference level of what's good and what's not. I've heard it all, trust me. So tactics have to come after strategy. Most of the time it's tactics first, strategy second, and that's never going to work because the tactic may not complement the strategy or get you the end result. And we see this a lot. Dennis, I did this. It didn't work. You used a tactic that was not appropriate to the strategy that you were after. Okay. So we got to do our thinking a little bit, watch our paradigms, and definitely watch our definitions.
Stay away from those vegetables. All right. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.